Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you another quick uh, video. This is probably going to be a very short video, uh, probably a minute video, two minute video kind of a thing. But I wanted to share this with you, so I created this video separately. And uh, you know that we had the credentials text that we downloaded from our Windows box, uh, which was lying on. Uh, not the credentials dot text uh, rather the password dot text uh, yeah uh, password dot text uh, which has all the usernames and passwords from our one of the uh, web servers uh, right now if you wanted a uh, separate users and passwords file uh, we can use zap gpt for that as well and i wanted to show that to you so, and hence this uh, short video so what we will do is uh, we will just do set jab gpt uh, minus f the file that we want and then i will say uh, can you create two lists one for user and one for password and hopefully it is able to do a good job at this and uh, we don't have to do the trickery of uh, bash shell for exploiting the password and uh, username separately uh, and of course i have to use uh, minus p without that it will not work and i will never remember to give it so open provider open router not open provider And this should hopefully give us uh, two clear lists, which will have just uh, one will have the users, the others will have passwords, and that we use for that we can use for uh, anything uh, that we want. And as you can see, this already looks good, right? Uh, it has clearly segregated the users into two different lists in Python. Uh, one is users uh, and the other is the passwords where you have all the passwords from the file uh, it does have empty password also because guest had uh, empty password uh, but it also has all the other passwords uh, in fact it is better because it also removed the duplicate uh, users uh, and they are only listed once uh, I am hopeful that uh, it uh, basically did not remove both the Johns. Yeah, John Doe and John Smith uh, both are there. Uh, so it only removed the duplicate entries of John Doe and Jane Smith uh, and not the actual users itself. Uh, and then it also represented blank passwords as this which is fine and it only considered username password pairs from the file uh, which is what we wanted uh, but if you remember we didn't tell it to do so right so this is where some intelligence from ai is uh, helpful in doing day-to-day -day work you don't have to give the exact uh, requirements and uh, bullet points and uh, ai will understand your natural language and help you with those uh, right so i didn't uh, tell anything about the uh, way file was organized and what i really required from it i just said that i want two lists one for user and one for password and it automatically found out what was contained in the file and uh, it did what i was uh, asking it to do uh, and it also created uh, the list in the order that they first appear in our file uh, which is again good uh, probably amazing uh, because you don't want to lose the uh, format uh, for this uh, okay uh, so that's all i wanted to show you today uh, specifically uh, that sometimes you don't even need a prompt engineering and just a simple plain text natural language prompt is quite helpful and can reduce a lot of work for you and uh, you should consider using jab gpt and system prompts uh, where you feel necessary and it can become a very good AI assistant for you in pen testing thank you